In this video, we will be taking a look at the following problem. The blue rectangle has an area of 12, and the pink rectangle has an area of 6. What is the area of the green rectangle? To begin, let's say the shorter side of the blue rectangle is of length a. We know the area of the blue rectangle is 12, and so this means the length of the longer side of the blue rectangle must be 12 over a, because 12 over a times a equals 12. Now if we do the same for the pink rectangle, let's say the longer side of the pink rectangle is of length b, then we know the shorter side must be of length 6 over b, because the area of the pink rectangle is 6. Now let's assign variables to the side lengths of the green rectangle. Let's say the shorter side is of length x, and the longer side is of length y. We know the area of the green rectangle is just going to be x times y, but since we want an actual value for that area, let's see if we can write x and y in terms of a and b. And to do this, we're going to need to use similar triangles. But which triangles in this figure are similar? Let's take a look. Let's call this angle at the top z. We know this angle is 90 degrees, and that means the third angle in this triangle must be 90 minus z, for the three angles to sum up to 180 degrees. We also know that this angle must be 90 degrees, and that this entire angle must be 180 degrees, because that's the angle of a straight line. That means that this remaining angle right here must be z, for these three angles to sum up to 180. 90 minus z plus 90 plus z equals 180. If this angle is z, and this angle is 90 degrees, then this third angle must once again be 90 minus z. And so, as you can see, these two triangles are similar, because they have the same set of three angles. Now before we move on, just for clarification, let's label the other two sides of the pink rectangle. We know the longer side is of length b, and that the shorter side is of length 6 over b. Now since these two triangles are similar, we know the ratio of the sides opposite the angle z in both triangles, so 6 over b over x must equal the ratio of the sides opposite the angle 90 minus c in both triangles, so 12 over a over b. Now if we cross multiply, we get 12 over a times x, so 12x over a equals 6 over b times v, so 6. Now to isolate x, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by a, and divide both sides by 12. And if we do that, we're left with x is equal to 6a over 12, which simplifies to a over 2. Now we can do essentially the same thing for y. It turns out that this triangle and this triangle are similar. I'm not going to go through the same step-by-step -step process of showing that each of the angles in these triangles are the same, but if you were to do that, you would find that this angle and this angle are the same, and that this angle and this angle are also the same. Because these two triangles are similar, we know the ratio of the sides opposite the yellow angles in these two triangles, so a over 6 over b must equal the ratio of the sides opposite the red angles in these two triangles, so b over y. Now once again, we can cross multiply, a times y is equal to b times 6 over b, which is just 6. To isolate y, we can divide by a on both sides, and we get y is equal to 6 over a. Now recall that we're looking for the area of the green rectangle, which is just x times y. x is a over 2, and y is 6 over a, so the area of the green rectangle is a over 2 times 6 over a, we can cancel out the a in the numerator with the a in the denominator, and we're left with the area of the green rectangle as 6 over 2, which is 3. And that's all there is to this problem. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like, and if you want to be notified when I post more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.